What's going on everybody? It's Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com and today I'm going to be helping you guys make a choice on which embroidery machine I feel like you guys may or may not want to get. Today's video is going to be kind of like a remix of the one that I made previously. So if you guys did not see the original videos, actually I made about two or three of them comparing a bunch of different embroidery machines. Uh, go ahead and click the card that pops up. Here's the thumbnail on a couple of them that I've made. Go ahead and watch some of those videos because there are machines that are in that video that I would not be mentioning in this video but you can still make those purchases. Those machines are still readily available for sale. The information is the same on them, stitch speed, size, compatibilities, uh, limits, stuff like that. It's all, still all valid on those machines. All right, so I wanna get started by telling you guys that I've been doing embroidery for three years. I'm going into my fourth year doing embroidery. I have a successful embroidery business. We do digitizing, making patches, making hoodies and stuff like this. If you guys wanna watch my playlist, go ahead and click the card that pops up. I have hundreds of videos on this channel and something that some of you guys may not know is I also have a different embroidery playlist on my other channel. So if you guys are not subscribed to both of my pages, you're missing out on a little bit of information here that you might want to know. So what we're going to be doing today is going over a list of embroidery machines, home embroidery machines, single needle embroidery machines that I feel would be perfect for starting an embroidery business. Now, these machines that we're going to be going over are the ones that are listed officially from Brother that Brother is still promoting on Amazon. If you guys are interested in any of these machines, please use the link in the description below. It actually allows me to get credit. Now, I do not work for Brother. I'm not affiliated directly with brother I've just been using brother embroidery machines for a couple years now so I'm pretty educated on how on them and how they work and which ones I think are worth your money and which ones you may want to stay away from starting on this list the first thing that we want to cover are the importance of knowing which embroidery machines are capable of stitching only four by four four by four inches in a square, and which ones are capable of stitching up to five by seven. In addition to that, we wanna go over the ones that I think you should stay away from. And before I forget, let's start off with that list of the ones on this list that I feel like you guys should stay away from. So starting off, we have the Brother Machine that is partnered with Star Wars. We have a Star Wars, a Marvel, and a Disney embroidery machine that we see on the screen here. And I'll actually put an attachment on the side so you guys can see them larger. Now, the reason why I think you should stay away from these three machines or because of the limitations that you will have with them. Not only are all three of those machines only capable of stitching four by four inches of space, but they also uh, are charging you extra to have those built-in designs. So for example, the one that's Star Wars, the Star Wars edition machine, it says it has 10 downloadable Star Wars designs. So you're just paying extra to have extra designs that are licensed from Star Wars. You're also paying extra to have 10 downloadable Marvel designs in the Marvel machine. With the Disney one, they actually give you a lot more, but you're still paying for it. So it says the Disney embroidery machine comes with 45 Disney designs. Now, the reason why some of you guys may still be intrigued to do that is because uh, if you plan on just doing this as a hobby and never expanding it into a business, then go for it. Get any of the machines on this list, no matter what I say, right? But the thing is that you might want to think about is that, for example, Disney partnered with Brother to be able to put those designs into the machine. You as a consumer can buy this machine and say, hey, I like Mickey Mouse and you can go ahead and make a sweater like I did and put Mickey Mouse on your sweater. But the thing is, you would only be able to wear, make that sweater for yourself or your grandkids or maybe your, your friends and stuff like that. Now, if you guys start trying to sell stuff. You're not able to do your that. business blows up, for example, and you're just known for making, you know, remixing a Mickey Mouse hoodie or doing whatever else you could end up getting in trouble for that. So um, if you do not plan on using these designs for anything extra outside of yourself, don't pay the extra money for them, because that's the reason why these prices are a little spiked uh, compared to the other machines that I'm going to go over up next. We're going to be talking about the Brother SE1900. Now, something real quick. If you guys just want to follow along with somebody who you feel like is a professional, who knows a lot about it. If you like to see um, somebody using your exact machine on screen while you're stitching out something and while you're trying to learn, I'm that guy. So if you're thinking about getting the SE1900, I actually own the SE1900 in addition to other machines that I have, and I'm going to be getting more in the future. But um, when I made my original comparison video sp explaining the top five embroidery machines, um, the SE1900 was my dream machine that I did not have at the time. The reason why I wanted it is because I was using a machine that was only capable of stitching a four by four. Then when I upgraded to a machine that could stitch a five by seven, 
the screen, the display, the LCD was only in black and white. So it was hard to tell what color thread do I need to insert next into my machine, into my machine. Um, about that, machines are all updated now. So all of these machines are going to give you a color display. And they're for the most part, they're all going to be 3.7 inches screen size in color. Um, they're all going to be capable of having a USB stick. So you do not have to, back in the day, this is my first embroidery machine. I had to literally put a USB cord in the machine and the other end had to be connected into the computer in order to transfer designs and to run the machine. Now they're all wirelessly. They all run off a USB stick. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about the black and white screen. They're all good in that sense. The SE1900 is capable of stitching five by seven and below. So there's the five by seven hoop that the machine comes with and it does not come with a four by four hoop, but you can buy that as an additional attachment and stitch smaller designs as well as larger designs. It also has stitches at um, 650 stitches per minute and the sewing feature stitches at 800 stitches a minute. So quick educational piece right here. If you guys are looking at these model numbers, the machines and are wondering, hey, what's the difference between this one and this one? Well, there's two main categories. There is PE and SE. SE stands for sewing and embroidery, meaning that specific machine can do two things in one. You can use it as an embroidery only machine, or you can uh, take off the attachment and use it as a sewing machine. So it's a two in one feature. When I first got started and I knew nothing about embroidery, I said, you know what? Might as well pay just a little bit extra and I can learn two things in once because there are going to be some projects that if you subscribe to my channel that I will be showing you guys that you would actually need a sewing machine. If you prefer to have, you know, just an embroidery only machine and then a separate sewing machine, you could do that as well. But the price is going to be more or less about the same. And then PE stands for personal embroidery, meaning those models and machines can only do embroidery. You cannot take any attachments apart. It only does one thing which is embroidery. SE 1900, good in my book. It's the one that I got if you guys wanna follow along. Okay, now going back to one of the older machines that are still on this list, the Brother SE 600. This is an older machine. It can only stitch up to four by four. SE 600, sewing and embroidery, that's a good one. The one that I had before is the SE 625, which the 625 is better than the 600, but for some reason the 625 is not on this list. I'm going over the ones that Brother themselves are still promoting live right now on their official page. Up next, we have the Brother PE 535. It only stitches at four by four. So if you guys are fine with stitching, you know, smaller designs, that's great. But this is not a four by four. You would need a five by seven to be able to stitch something like this. You know, if you're just doing like monograms, lettering and th stuff like that, a four by four inch machine will be great for you. If you wanna start doing images and pictures, because this is something that you guys should think about. The larger your image that, that you wanna stitch out, the more detail it can have. If you can only stitch four inches, but you wanna do, let's say for example, six people on a shirt, well, to fit into that four inches, even if you had four inches, that means one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. So even if you have four people, the maximum size that each of those people could be is one inch. Imagine you wanna put six people. You're gonna to have to shrink that design so small. And not only are the, is the overall design going to be small, but think about the details like the, the glasses, the nose, the teeth, earrings, or anything like a hat. That's gonna be something additional to add to the size. So if the overall design needs to be one inch or one and a half inches, well, you want to add a hat, you want to add this, you want to add a chain, you want to add this. Well, now the design is going to get smaller and smaller, the details, the eyes are going to be like dots in order to get all that image into that space. Um, just keep that in mind. So a larger machine is better. I recommend that you guys get a five by seven sewing and embroidery machine. Let's just cut to the chase. Now, which one is that going to be? We'll see on this list. Let's keep it going. It also depends on your budget, guys. I do not know your budget, but again, if you click the link in the description, you guys will be able to see all the prices. If you are if you are seeing some prices on screen right now, because I am recording this on my screen, don't 100% worry about the prices that you may see, but that is a ballpark of what they will cost. But prices do fluctuate and go up and down. So we also have on this list, the Brother PE 800, which is also an older machine. Stitches up to five by seven. It has 138 built-in designs. And something else that, that the next model up from that is the Brother, it says newer model, PE 900. So the 900 now makes the 800 and the 700 obsolete because basically those are the exact same 
machines. But the only thing that they do differently is they give you more built-in designs. So again, right here looking at it, the PE800 versus the PE1900, uh, or the PE900, my bad. Both of those are five by seven machines. One of them comes with 138 built-in designs and the other one comes with 193 built-in designs. So, um, oh, also the 900 is a wireless thing. We'll get into that in, in a moment, but that doesn't really make the machine stitch any better. It just gives you some new wireless features that you could download an app on your phone and purchase other designs and stuff like that. So if you want to be doing all that, we'll, I'll save that for a separate video as far as like the, the app that you can connect some of these newer machines with. They all work with a USB. They're all color display. The two machines I just mentioned right now, both stitch at the same speed, same size, same everything. But the built-in designs are like the different, um, you know, you want to stitch a, a duck. This one comes with a duck. This one comes with a dog, you know. So we're not going to go cover over all the 190 something designs that come in the machine. So you guys can see the differences. But just know one comes with a lot of preset designs. So if you guys have no plans at all of ever hiring somebody like me to make custom images for you, you could get a machine that has all the built-in designs and it's going to come with your, you know, you can stitch a circle and then type your name in it. You can stitch a triangle, you can stitch a rectangle and just do simple shapes. That That's the designs that are included with the machine. It might include, um, you know, uh, a rose, a built-in rose in the machine that you can, you know, put these designs together and make your own designs. Um, but let's see the price difference. Now the 800 shows at 877 the 900 is 1150, right? So for the difference in price, I would not get the, pre, the PE 900 because again, these machines, same capabilities, not much different um, going on there. All right, almost done with the list. Did I skip a couple? I might've skipped a couple, but it's okay. We're gonna cover the ones that I feel like are, are the main ones that we should be covering today. Up next, we have the brother se 700 let's check out this one the brother 700 is looks like it's the same thing as the what what was it the brother se 600 the 625 the 535 these are all in the same category because these are all smaller machines that are only capable of stitching four inches of space right now the 700 135 built-in designs 103 built-in stitches 3.7 inch screen, same thing, right? So it's nothing different about the machine. The only thing different about that machine is that it does have the wireless capabilities for you guys to be able to connect it to your app on your phone. I don't know if it's an Android and um, Apple, but whatever it is, the Artspira app, you can download the app. Any designs that are not built into your machine already, you can scroll through the official list from Brother, purchase a design from, the, from their app store and send it wirelessly to your machine as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, right? Um, so that one being priced at $500 compared to, for example, the 535, the 545, um, the 600, the 550. Let's see, the lowest one on that list is about $400. Now, lowest one, 380, 400, 440, 460, and 500. I'll tell you guys this much. If you guys are looking for a machine that only needs to stitch up to four inches of space, if you guys want the latest and greatest, go for the Brother SE700. It's not going to be that much more expensive than the other ones. You're going to have all the latest technology, but you're only going to be limited to four inches of space. If you're just getting started and want to test the waters, put your toes in it, you know what I'm saying? Get the Brother SE700 for its wireless capabilities. It's... uh ability to be able to do sewing and embroidery and it has 135 built-in designs to get you started if you guys ever want any more designs than that you can actually connect it wirelessly to their new app and purchase designs made from brother they don't do custom work so by the way again shout out to myself never deny me.com Brother is not going to let you send them an image and they're going to convert it that's going to work for your machine no you're going to be buying cats dogs birds shapes um, maybe different fonts that you can type and, and add different. I don't know. I haven't checked out their, their uh, wireless app, but it's going to give you the ability to do that. If you want to be able to send somebody a picture of your face of you, let's say for a couple, you and your, your husband or something, and you want them to turn into a stitches, you will still need to hire somebody, uh, for example, a digitizer like me. 
to be able to do that for you. And I can make all my designs work on any of these machines, not only just these machines, but in multi needle machines, anything, right? So again, number one app that I recommend on this list of, that's officially sponsored by brother, brother's not sponsoring this video, but they're sponsoring this list. The brother SE 700, pretty cool machine. Uh, if you guys are looking for a step up, I wouldn't say that you need to go with the brother SE 2000. Let's get into that real quick too. I don't think, I think I might've skipped that one. We saved it for last. The top machine on this list right now is the brother SE 2000. It is the newest machine. Not only is it the newest machine, it also has the wireless capabilities. You could put a USB stick in it. It has a color 3.7 inch screen. Um, it can, it can connect to the app to purchase more designs. I can make designs for this machine as well. It is an SE machine, meaning it does sewing and embroidery. But the difference between that compared to the 700 is the 2000 also can stitch a maximum of five by seven. The 700, only four by four. The 2000 up to five by seven, which is what I made something like this. Something yeah. else you want to think about. That is a $1,000 difference. One is $500, one is $1,500. Would you be willing to pay an extra $1,000 just to be able to stitch one more inch of height and three more inches wide in your design? That's something to really think about. So I don't know your guys' budget. If you're just getting started and you want to start at the bottom of the bottom, but still have the top of the line machine, Brother SE 700. If you want to go all in and, and $1,500, just again, depending on your budget, but knowing how much like multi-needle machines cost, uh, $1,500 is a great starting price. If you are serious about getting started in embroidery and if you have dreams and hopes and aspirations of actually turning it into a business. Um, we're not going to get into too much detail, but one thing I do not recommend people do, regardless of what other people may say or what these companies are telling you, if you are just getting started, if you are just getting started in embroidery, I do not recommend going and purchasing a multi-needle machine, like a commercial machine, like the other one that I use in my videos. Do not do it that it, I feel like embroidery itself is already a learning curve because some people think, Hey, I could just download a picture on the internet, put it on a USB stick, put it in the machine. It's going to stitch it out. Absolutely not. That is not how it works. Not even close to how it works. There's so much more stuff to learn from the thread types, the needles, the stabilizers you need, depending on what you're stitching on the stitch speed, the stitch tension. There's so, there's so much more. And I will be making more videos in the future. If you guys subscribe, if this video does well, definitely I'll make more videos, educating you guys on the whole process. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. And I'll show you guys everything that I've learned, including depending on, again, if y'all hit that donation button, y'all hit that thanks button, y'all send me stuff, you know, I could, I could teach you more how to digitize and exactly how I create something like this from scratch if the people really want it. If you guys support me, I will show you guys that information as well. But for now, again, I know this has been a long video, a long winded video, but we're just gonna do a quick recap. Machines to stay away from. Any machine that's partnered with a licensed company. Disney branded machine, if you want a Disney machine, Get a Disney Mickey Mouse sticker and just stick it on your machine. Now you got a Disney machine. Don't worry about those built-in designs unless you only want to make stuff for your grandkids and make them, you know, a, a uh, uh, I'm just going to keep saying Mickey Mouse, a Mickey Mouse design because you can only use those designs for personal use. You cannot make any money off of those designs. So if you can't make any money off of it, it's not profitable for a business. Stay away from the branded ones. The machine that I currently have, the Brother SE 1900, is a great machine. I actually got it on a great deal, but the price right here that you see right there is not that bad, especially comparing the SE 1900 to the SC 2000 that are both capable of the exact same thing outside of the wireless uh, features. That's the only difference right there. They stitch at the same speed. Don't worry about the built-in designs. They both do sewing and embroidery. They both have 3.7 inch color display. They both take a USB stick. They both read the same file types stuff like that. And I think my, uh, the video is about to cut off right now. We've gone to our limit. So hopefully you guys found this information helpful and I guess we'll wind it on down to our top three embroidery machines that I think you guys should get the brother SE 1900. I think that's number one on this list for getting started with the latest and greatest. That way you don't got to worry about upgrading for a while. Brother SE 1700, very good price color display, all the features that you're going to need. 
Your only, the only downside is you are limited to four inches of space. Now, if you guys are big ball and you want the latest and the greatest, go for the Brother SE2000. It is the top of the line out of all these ones on this list. It does everything. Big, big design, small designs. It's wireless stitches and it sews. And that's great. Let's just add one more in just for a little razzle dazzle. You know what I'm saying? One more that I guess would be in comparison to the SE1900 or similar. The last one that I, I wanted to add to this list is the Brother PE800. Keep in mind though, that is for people who only are interested in embroidery. Stitches up to five by seven. It does not do any stitching, but it's, it does not do any sewing. It's an embroidery only machine, but the PE800 is still a fairly decent price. And it uh, color display, USB, it is not wireless. So there it is. There we have it. Today's video is being brought to you by NeverDenyMe.com. Make sure you take a look at the website for all your graphic needs. Anything from digital to physical.